This job today is just crown lifting this little, I don't know what you'd call it, it's not a wood, <laughs> spinny, little cops, whatever it's called anyway, group of trees. So we've got the Hexler in action today, that'll be a bit of fun, I do like using the Hexler. So with all this area, is all getting crown lifted and just make some light. And they do want the apple trees pruning. I know it's the wrong time and a lot of our videos we say, I'm going to do this and it's not the right time. We've got to do it now because they want it doing now. They're not that fussed on the apples, although they will probably use the apples after it's pruned, you know, next time, next season, once it's all in order. But we can't just let it stay like that. And we've missed the season to cut it, the winter season, so they didn't want us to do it then, so we can't do it. So we're going to do them anyway, so that's the end of that. And then these are getting lifted, this pergola is going to be on show, a couple of metres taken back here. And then yeah, basically just let some lights in here, and some in there, so it's like a little bit of a jungle. And it, it is at a school, and they don't want any kids to go missing in here, so there's a little bug hotel. And this willow arch just needs rejuvenating, so we'll do something with that. So yeah, it's just clearing the bottom of this shrubbery, this tree area, and we'll get on with that. We've only just started and it's amazing how much comes off. Um, some of these shrubs aren't trees, so they're just going to get clipped down and neatened and let some light in that way and these this is where we've just started we've only done three and the difference already but i still get surprised what comes off doesn't matter how many years i've been working it's good old hexler as much as i love the little silky saw we've got and I do love it. I was going to start cutting all the branches with it. I didn't really need a chainsaw. But to be honest, after about six or seven branches, I thought, you know what? I'm going to get the chainsaw out. Time's money. I'm not there to enjoy myself. So pff, the chainsaw had to be brought out. But we can't knock the silky. It does a great little job. So the pile is definitely gathering size. I'm sure Phil will have that demolished in a couple of minutes. And here we have the beast in action now. Oh, and the chipper. That does good too <laughs> only messing with Phil yes I think Phil enjoys it a little bit too much I think he just pretends he's sweating and he pretends he's tired and every time I turn around he's got a smile on his face I think he loves it that just kicks it out at a, as a, at a great speed it's brilliant so I'll just hide behind this tree so it doesn't hit me because it's coming out at a fair distance. Okay, like everything when you price a job, there's always something different or something to annoy you. This is, these are the apple trees and they're in a row. 
don't know if you can see because of the shade, but there's another one. Just see the trunk there. Now this is a willow and it's growing from inside here all the way over and growing over almost all the apple trees. So to prune the apple trees, which are priced for, I've now got to remove all the, the willow. Now it's not the end of the world, it's, you know, but it is more cutting and it is more shredding and it's more wear and tear on the tools. We won't put anything more on the job, it's just part and parcel of just the way things go. So we'll get on with that, but you'll see a big difference in a second. What I'll do is I'll get rid of the willow or cut it back and then we'll see more of what we've got to do after that. So there's quite a bit to come off. That's quite a big shrub. Well, this is the bit where I think we go above and beyond. As I say, this is the apple trees. These have got to come down, pruned. And we can actually see them now. So, we've got all this willow down. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Dust. We've just cut them down. They'll all grow up. They're like weeds. But all this needs still to come down. Uh, this is an apple tree here. And then all that willow there. So there's still quite a clump. So I'll carry on. But this is quite a lot to cut up and shred. But we'll do it all in our stride. And just that alone will make the apple trees look better. So just a little walk through of where we're going to be cutting down we're going to be pruning the apple trees everything on the left as you can see there now looking is the apple trees everything on the right hasn't been priced for it's not included and isn't getting done but we've got to get this willow down because it's encroaching so we will tidy up as best as possible but we're not charging for it so we're not going to do the greatest of jobs it, that's obviously self-explanatory isn't it uh, logic so we need to get them off the apple trees and that's what we'll do but you can see the apple trees now looking a little bit clearer Just gonna take these willows down, take them down about, oh, I don't know, 10 foot. And then Phil's just gonna shred the ones that we've started into there. It's definitely looking different. Oh my God, that machine just eats everything. It is just a beast. That's a tree almost. Oh, this makes me laugh oh somebody there is signaling that they want some money some payment <laughs> this is the caretaker of the school we're working for who was so impressed with the shredder he's snatching the the branches off phil and wants to have a little go of it uh, but he'd be lucky if he gets paid because i don't even pay phil phil just turns up and does it for the sheer love of it don't you phil And this is the final bit finished and we're not trying to win any prizes for pruning it's just willows that have overgrown so just to keep them down get them down get them a bit tidy get them in in order and we've just shredded all the bottoms there and as you could see everything got shredded into here again these are all just pruned down basically when you get the new growth on we can then determine what height or you know what shape if, if they're going to be a hedge or if they're going to grow up but we'll do all that at a, at a later date and that's it, and, and all the apple trees are pruned. So they look a bit skeletal. I know it's the wrong time. Please don't start writing in the descriptions telling me I've done it wrong. Because, like I say, we do it our way. We haven't had any complaints, and we're not saying it's right. But we do what's best, and what we feel is needed. So, they're all done. And thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and thumb up if you enjoyed it. So, see you on the next video.